Michelle, thank you very much for joining us here today. Thanks for having me. Can you give us a, a brief rundown about Prey? Um, yeah, Prey is a, is a wonderful film we shot last summer here in Alberta at the Stony Nakoda Nation. A uh, great uh, cast of Indigenous people, 95% Indigenous cast, I think, which was really cool. And it's part of the Predator franchise. And yeah, it's a great film. Now, you've been in the industry for over 30 years now. Um, you know, how has Indigenous representation changed during your career? Uh, when I began acting back, it was before Dances with Wolves, which I consider sort of the big breakthrough that we had as actors when that happened in, I think, 92. That's when the doors really began to open for Indigenous acting, but it's progressed so much since then even. Um, I can remember, you know, back in the day, putting on generic buckskins and doing our hair, you know, in braids and, and getting these really cheesy lines given, you know, that were written by white people in Hollywood. And now what I'm seeing, which is so beautiful, is um, indigenous showrunners, indigenous producers, indigenous uh, screenwriters, um, people picking up awards, you know, we've got Res Dogs happening, Rutherford Falls, Dark Winds, and now Prey, and it's just a super exciting time. And I feel like, you know, there's there's been a lot of investment by Indigenous actors and artists through the years of being at those tables, talking about diversity and inclusiveness, and now it feels like we're heading into a time of harvest. All the work that we've put into this as artists is now finally begin beginning to unfold, and we've got amazing productions going on all across Turtle Island, so it's a good time. Michelle, why is it so important to include Indigenous people not only in the cast, but in some of the storylines as well? Well, telling our stories is really important to come from a place of absolute honesty and this is something that I've talked about in the past also is you can have a great script and you have you know people who are not let's say not indigenous playing those roles then you've got the conviction is not there the the the, the our DNA you know we've got these stories in our bodies in who we are in our experiences how we've been brought up and stuff and there's all types of native people out there you know there's traditional people and you know the modern modern indigenous people so it's important that we tell stories from all of those different places there's people on res off res status non status we need to continuously explore that and that's important that we have indigenous people telling those stories and contributing to the narrative of what it means to be who we are so to me that's super important and on prey it was really you know we had indigenous people in the, that were part of the writing part of the you know doing the research about the show, about the Comanche people. And we had an indigenous Comanche producer on set 24 hours a day, like 24 seven, she was there to answer questions about the accuracy of what we were portraying. Now, Michelle, I understand you're currently working on a new film. Um, are you able to share with us uh, a little bit of what you're currently working on? At this moment, I'm working on a film here in Calgary called uh, The Birds Who Fear Death with uh, Adam Beach and Simon Baker and Carmen Moore, Tanea Beattie, Glenn Gould, Nathaniel Arcand, Graham Greene. <laughs> it's, a, it's a huge stacked cast. Um, and then we've also got uh, Bones of Crows, which we just found out yesterday. It's another film that I'm a part of that Marie Clements wrote and directed, we shot last fall, is premiering at TIFF. So there's lots of amazing stuff going on. And plus we just finished uh, a series that my daughter was actually a part of too, called Little Bird that Jen Podemski uh, produced that was shot in Winnipeg. So there's just so many things happening. It's, it's a real, it's an incredible time. All right, well, we certainly look forward to all of those. And Michelle, we will have to leave it there. I wanna thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to speak with us about uh, all, all of your work. And uh, again, pray, great movie. Have a great day.